Hey y'all, and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian, and this woman takes the mic directly from Trump and then tells the world a message that America really needs to hear. And th this is a fantastic video, but before we dive in, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors at, at Colonial Metals Group. They quite literally have the cure to Bidenomics, and now it's ha uh, Harris inflation, but more on that later. Now, let's dive in to the video. But at least they're fair. And I was watching and I heard the story of an incredible, unbelievable young woman who was battling rare bone cancer. They made a mistake. A doctor or a hospital made a mistake. She called it a, it was a medical error. Her name is Natalie Harp and she lit up the television screen like very few people I've ever seen do it. And she talked about how they were preparing her for death. And because of Right to Try, she's now living and I think doing phenomenally well. And somebody said she's here. Are you here, Natalie? Is it? Where's Natalie? Will you come up here, please? Come up, Natalie. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. You know, we all know the story about the Good Samaritan, but what you don't know is I was that forgotten person on the side of the road, the victim of medical error, the number three cause of death under the previous administration, and left to die of cancer. First, the medical establishment, they came by and they saw me there, so they wrote prescriptions for opioids and they walked on. Next, the political establishment, they saw me there, and they stopped just long enough to come over and tell me how to die, how to speed up my death so I could somehow die with dignity. But then an outsider, my good Samaritan, President Donald J. Trump, he saw me there and he didn't walk by, he stopped. And for every single one of us, he gave up his own quality of life so we could live and work and fight with dignity because he believes in survival of the fighters, not the fittest. And so, Mr. President, I have to say you have made a lot of promises to us and you have kept every one of them. So now we're going to make you this promise. Just as you fought for us, forgotten America will never forget how you saw us on the side of the road and you walked over and you picked us up and you made us great again. And now we're gonna fight for you, Mr. President. God bless you. The most shocking thing about this video is the idea that the right to try was only implemented under the uh, Trump administration. You mean to tell me that we have not had the right to try something experimental in this country. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. I love going down the rabbit hole of medical malpractice. Not because I enjoy it, but because there is a problem in this country. Obamacare did not do a thing to fix this issue, okay? The attempt at writing legislation to get some better, uh, better healthcare system for the United States has not occurred and up until Donald Trump came in and said, yes, you have the right to try something experimental and guess what? It worked. That is how corrupt our system has become. The pharmaceutical industry, it's not the weird conspiracy that they want you sick. No, they just want you to take certain cures. And if certain cures work better than others, those are the ones that need to be tried tested and done. Hey y'all, in case you haven't noticed, this has gone to this. It is absolutely insane. What the feds have done, constantly printing money, making sure that your dollar becomes less and less valuable, has hurt the economy and has probably hurt you in ways that you can't even imagine yet. That's why we partner with Colonial Metals Group. CEO Paul Stone and his associates understand the ins and outs of protecting your hard-earned dollars backed by gold, silver, and other precious metals. And they even have 
a limited time offer for first time buyers. Free gold and silver IRA accounts. Insured storage for five years. Up to $7,500 in free silver. And a personal safe to keep all the good stuff. So go check them out. Link in the description below or call this phone number to talk to one of the many lauded associates at Colonial Metals Group to protect your hard earned dollars today. If something is experimental, you should have the right to sign a waiver and say, yes, I consent to this, I will not sue you. Apparently we didn't have that right. That is absolutely asinine. And it's all because of the stranglehold of our healthcare system. Uh, one of my best, best friends, as a matter of fact, he is my best friend, is a doctor. And he despises the medical industry. Y'all don't fully understand. We don't have a staffing problem. We have a bureau bureaucracy problem. And as a matter of fact, we do have a bit of a staffing problem. I'm just saying that the bureaucracy problem is worse. Doctors and lawyers, as much as many people despise both or don't trust either, we aren't replacing them. We've got a problem. And furthermore, the staff keeps growing bigger and bigger. And it's not because we're getting more nurses and more doctors. We're getting more bureaucrats. This is insane. This system cannot work, does not keep you healthy, does not help you, and all it does is just take money out of your wallet. Like I said, absolutely insane. This woman was told by both the political class and the doctor managerial class that, nope, uh, we screwed up. Um, here's how you die with dignity. And quite literally, it was these, uh, this is a literal parallel to the story of the Good Samaritan. And to re-explain the Good Samaritan for those who don't know, um, the people of Judea, Palestine as the Romans called it, and only the Romans I think should call it, call it that, and the Romans aren't here anymore. Uh, that region was basically grew, had two lumps. There was the Sumerian people, who were sort of the half-brothers of, uh, uh, of the Jewish people, and then you had the remnants of the Israelites in Judea. And the remnants of the Israelites were very snooty, hoity-toity, and they did not like the Samaritans. And yet it was the Samaritan that actually cared for the person on the road. Because a Pharisee came along, ignored him, said a prayer, and then went along his way. The, the person was injured on the side of the road, needed help. And then some merchants came along, they didn't help him either. But it was the Samaritan, that no good less than you Samaritan, came over and helped that person. That is exactly what's happen happened here in this video. Because of the right to try. We need rights like this. And you know what? I I'm going to go down a little bit of a rabbit hole here. Uh, one of my uh, legislators was Phil Gingry. Uh, uh, he's no longer in office. But during the Obamacare debate, he wrote, I believe, a 13-page bill that basically addressed tort reform. That's at least a step in the right direction. And that bill never made it out of the hopper because, let's be honest, the Speaker of the House has way too much power. Uh, we, we've got to address that at some point because he had a perfectly fine piece of legislation that the Democrats would have never ever voted for because Nancy Pelosi had everyone's, uh, had every Democrat by the throat and forced them to vote for Obamacare. On one hand, that's impressive because there were a lot of Democrats that weren't on board because there used to be a Democrat wing that was fiscally conservative and they saw Obamacare as this monstrous bill that did nothing, all right? It was a Patriot Act for healthcare companies. That's what it was. And he at least had a solution to one big problem and tort reform is still an issue today because everything is so litigious. And part of it is because what she said in the video is that medical malpractice is the number three cause of death. How bad are our doctors? Is it the pharmaceutical industry? Is, is, it the, is it the doctors? Is it the education system? What's the problem? Donald Trump at least addressed a part of it. And that's why I, that's why I support him so much because he at least tries to, to solve some of the issues. He is out of left field, or in his case, out of center field. 
He's outside of the stadium. He is outside of the political norms in the mainstream. And we need someone like that who thinks outside of the box. We don't need more of the same leadership. This woman is alive because she had the right to try something experimental. Americans deserve good health care. We deserve to have good nutrition. We deserve, as a free people, the right to choose, the right to try, and the right to protect our life, liberty, our property, and the pursuit of happiness. Protecting the right to life is fundamental to all of this. And Donald Trump has been better than that than the past presidents for decades. It is just that simple. This woman is alive because of a policy he implemented. How many more can we say from this point forward? That's the question that I'd love to see answered. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.